Good morning. This is Action News Jack Sunday. Coming up on Action News Jack Sunday, getting kids to read more begins by training the next generation of authors. Stay with us. Welcome back to Action News Jack Sunday. I'm Dawn Lopez. In a world dominated by screens, it's more difficult than ever to get this out of the hands of kids and in front of a good book. The National Education Association says that kids who read for fun at home are more likely to do better in school, which in turn jump starts a successful future. Joining me right now this morning is author Jennifer Swanson, who's written more than 25 works of fiction and nonfiction for kids and many with a very heavy emphasis on science and learning. Good morning to you and welcome. Good morning, Dawn. Thank you for having me. You bet. You and I both are so excited about books oh, and yes. putting books in the hands of children. Yes. How did you get into this work? Um, well, I've, I've been a writer now for almost 10 years, and um, but my whole life I've been reading books. My mom was a huge advocate, and I used to spend my days in the summer at the library doing all the summer reading programs. So it's just kind of a logical thing. And now that I've been doing this for 10 years, I'm like, it's time to give back to this amazing city I live in and help promote reading for kids. Because like you said, they're all on their phones. They should be in a book. Yes, right? absolutely. And tell us about some of the books that you've written to get the kids' attention and just, just soak them up, soak it in. So uh, probably the most well-known book that I have is Brain Games, which was based on the National Geographic TV show. And it's all about doing these fun activities, but you learn neuroscience. You're learning. Shh, don't tell the kids, right? <laughs> um, so that's probably the biggest one. Um, one of my newest is Astronaut Aquanaut how space science and sea science interact. Mm. And it takes two completely different areas that you wouldn't think are the same, and it puts them together. Mm. And kids love that because I'm tapping into their science, their imagination. Ooh, maybe I could be an astronaut or an aquanaut when I get older. Um, so I just like to get kids excited about science. So how is writing for children, it may seem like an easy question, but how is it different writing for children compared to adults? And I know that you have to tap into that creative energy there. So writing for kids, if you talk to a children's author, you'll hear them say that the voice inside her head is, mine's about nine. It's about nine years old. Hmm. So, and so when you're nine, <laughs> you ask lots of questions. You want to know all these different things. So when you write for kids, I try to think like a kid and be like, what does a kid want to know? Um, so in my Astronaut Aquanaut book, I actually interviewed astronauts and asked them a question that I thought a kid might want to know. Like, what do you eat in space? You know, that so when really you write cool. for kids, you got to put yourself in their head, kind of. That is really cool. And you will be helping some writers here locally today, those yes. who want to tap into that inner child and start writing. Tell us about this workshop that you're participating in today. Um, yes, yeah, so this workshop has been a long time coming. It was um, my brainchild because I wanted to get together nonfiction auth children's authors. Um, and what we like to do is is talk about the business, like how can we improve? What do we need to put in our books that kids and adults will love to read? And so we got 70 authors from all over the country that came here to Jacksonville out at One Ocean, so they're having fun at the beach, right? <laughs> Adult time, yes. That's right, yes. of course. Um, and we brought in um, seven editors from New York City, wow. big publishing houses, and we're just kind of having a powwow, just a conference mm. to talk and exchange ideas and learn from each other. It's been an amazing experience. And what are you finding that these new authors need? What is it that they really want to glean from you? Um, basically, we all just want to learn how to engage kids in our books. Mm -hmm. We want to mm -hmm. write exciting nonfiction books for kids are not kind of the boring books that like I read ages and ages ago. <laughs> They're exciting and interesting. And that's the keys that we're all talking about this weekend. How to make your books leap off the page yeah. exciting. 
And speaking of exciting, several of the authors will be out at our local schools visiting with yes. the kids. And I just want to see their faces when they come in and they meet these authors and they make the words of these books come to life. Yes, and that's what we're doing. So in conjunction with this, um, I have actually stood up a nonprofit called Kid Literacy Inc. with um, my amazing dear friend KK Tierney, who is um, currently the librarian at Chets Creek Elementary. And we decided that we want to give these schools a book experience. Mm -hmm. We want the kids to not just get the book, but meet the author so they can feel the passion yeah. and the energy of writing yeah. and reading. So we have authors going to six local schools and they, let me just tell you, these schools are so exciting. You told me that you're going over to St. Clair Evans School. Yes, we are. That's off Moncrief and the kids are so excited. Oh, I love St. Clair Evans and they need this kind of attention. They do. And the book that we're doing is The Youngest Marcher um, by Cynthia Levinson. Mm -hmm. We brought her in and it is such an engaging and beautifully illustrated book um, by Vanessa Brantley Newton is the is the illustrator and we're hoping that these kids will really just be like wow and you said they amazing. are excited they are they they're everybody's to dress excited up. They, well at the, they're gonna dress up at Windy Hill, Windy Hill. Elementary, elementary okay. from Got what it. I understand I went to Windy Hill Elementary School did you I do. it's a beautiful long, little long, school long, long time ago <laughs> <laughs> but we won't talk about that. but it's a beautiful school yeah yes. we're sending an author over there and I think her book is about Amelia Earhart, so I think they're all going to dress up like his little pilots or something. That sounds amazing. I mean, they're so over the moon, and we're we are so thrilled that we can provide this experience for them. Wonderful. Now, is it too late for those who may want to get in on the workshop or take part in in this nonprofit that you have going? Um, so the workshop is mostly over, so okay. so not this time. Okay. Um, but mm -hmm. um, tonight, from four to six p.m. at One Ocean, we are having having um, an author signing. So if you want to come out and meet one of the 32 award-winning nonfiction children's authors, you, we, you are more than welcome. We're going to, they're going to be selling books, which you can buy, get autographed. We're also going to be giving away free books and prizes. Can't beat so that. So 4 to 6 p.m., come out tonight to One Ocean. That sounds like a good time to me. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for Thank being here. Thank you for here. having me. It's been great. Thank you.